Hey everybody, so can you solve this practice question in Python? Here's a look at our data set and here's the question down below. Feel free to pause the video now if you want to read through that, study the question, and also if you want to try this question first before I walk through the solution. All right, so let's get started. So what makes this question a little bit trickier is the unique values of, or unique combinations of the home and away teams. We want to make sure we're not double counting here. And to demonstrate this problem, let's run a simple value counts and get the unique combinations of home and away teams. So dot value counts. And then I always like to put these into a data frame to make it a little bit easier to read. We can reset the index. And then let's sort these values so we can find our problem. So first here, we have Arsenal as the home team and Aston Villa as the away team, played 27 times. But if we scroll down, we also have showing up here in these unique combinations, Aston Villa as the home team and Arsenal as the away team also played 27 times. And we don't want this to be double counted. We want this to be counted as one single matchup. So rather than just using this simple value counts, we need to take a little bit of an extra step with a for loop. So let's come down here and start our solution. And I want to define a couple of lists. So I'll define a temporary list called temp list. And we need to define this first before our for loop so that we can then go ahead and reference it in the loop. And this is a temporary list that's going to change each time, each iteration through our data frame. And then I want a matchup list, also going to be blank. And this is what we're going to use to append values into. So I want to loop through each index in our data frame. So we have for i in range len df. And now let's define our temporary list through each iteration. So temp list equals, and I want this to have two values in the list. One is going to be the value of the home team, and one is going to be the value of the away team. So df home team dot values i, and then df away team dot values i. And to solve our problem here of not double counting those uh, home versus away matchups, I'm going to take this list, because this is a list of two items here, and I'm going to wrap this in the sorted function. And what this is going to do is it's going to rearrange our list in ascending order. So if we have an example here, if our list is Chelsea, comma, Arsenal, and we take this list and tell it to sort, we are automatically going to get Arsenal, comma, Chelsea, because Arsenal appears first, first alphabetically. And if we have the opposite here, Arsenal, comma, Chelsea, this is already in alphabetical order, so nothing's going to happen. So now we have accounted for that problem, and we're not going to double count these matchups. So let's go ahead and append a string to our matchup list. And I want a nice, clean, easy to read string. So let's append the first item in that temp list. So temp list index zero. And we'll do some string concatenation here to make this nice and clean. So plus, and I'll say versus with these spaces on the end so it's not all stuffed together. And then let's add the second item in the list. So temp list index one. And that should be all we need in our for loop. So let's come down here and print out our matchup list to make sure everything looks good. And you can kind of see the format of what we're printing out here. So that checks out and we can create a new column in our data frame. And we'll call this column matchup. Run that line of code and now we are ready to go back and do our value counts. So df matchup dot value counts. Again, I always like to put these into data frames. They're a little easier to read. And we can just print out this line of code and edit as we go, or as we see fit. So let's reset 
the index. Now it looks like we need to rename our columns here. So we'll add dot rename, pass through a dictionary. So let's change the index to matchup, and then we will change matchup to, we'll call this the count. Now I want to sort our values here. We'll use the slash, send this to the next line. So sort values. And I want the count in descending order. And then the matchup if we have any ties in ascending order. So we'll pass through ascending equals then a list because we have two items. So that's false for the count, true for the matchup. And then lastly, I'll reset the index again so we get a fresh new index starting from zero, and we will drop the old index. We can run that line of code, and this is going to be our final output. So at the top here, we have our most frequently played matchups, and we can scroll down to the most infrequently played matchups all the way down at the bottom. And here's the solution again. And that's going to be the end of our video today. Now, please, if you have a better way of solving this question, or you simply did it a different way, please go ahead and comment your solution down below. I'm always interested to, uh, to see what you guys can come up with. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more of this content in the future, because I will have a lot more coming. So please subscribe if you enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching.